Hey, newsflash, what's happening with Litecoin right now is going to happen with Bitcoin times 100, exponentially greater. Make sure you watch the whole video today. I have a lot I want to go over. Let's start right here. Six months ago, Litecoin was $30. It was $30 for quite some time, actually. And today, it's trading for $130, and it's expected to keep going up into the halving. You were around six months ago. You were around when Litecoin was $30. Why didn't you buy? You knew the halving was coming up. You knew that that means the supply would be cut in half. You knew that historically speaking, that's almost a guarantee that the price would go up when the supply goes down. Yet you didn't buy because you were scared. Psychologically, you were probably waiting to get in just a little bit lower. Maybe you were trying to time the bottom. I don't know. But you knew that the price would go up as the supply goes down. And right now, that's exactly what we're seeing. Litecoin is exploding in price because everybody wants to get some before the supply runs out. Everybody wants to get in before the supply gets cut in half. Here's my point. Yes, Litecoin is hot right now. Litecoin's price is exploding. People are sure it's going to go up into the halving and they're buying in now and that's causing the price to go up. And they've been buying in for the last six months and my point is, this is exactly the same thing that we are going to see with Bitcoin as we get closer to this date. Except with Bitcoin, it's going to be exponentially greater, I think. So let's talk about that. Why is Bitcoin's price going to increase exponentially more than Litecoin's going into the halving? And there's really three main reasons. Let's go over that. Number one, Bitcoin is the brand name. Bitcoin's brand name is 100 times larger than that of Litecoin's. I mean, in today's day and age, everybody knows Bitcoin. Some people know Ethereum. A couple people know XRP. Really, nobody knows Litecoin. It's Besides the people who are in the crypto space now, Litecoin is on nobody's radar, yet we have still seen this happen. That's reason number one. Reason number two, it is Bitcoin that is the only cryptocurrency that institutions are interested in. Bitcoin is the only crypto that institutions will buy into or will offer to their clients. We have seen this. This is obvious. Number three, Bitcoin is the most decentralized, most secure, hardest money. It's being recognized more and more every single day as a store of value and people want to buy into that. People trust that Bitcoin will be around years to come and will be stronger and more valuable than it is now in the coming years. So they feel okay putting their money into it. So let's talk about price. My question to you is in 344 days from now, knowing what we know is happening with Litecoin right now, at what price point do you see Bitcoin going into the halving? At the halving, do you think it's gonna be $50,000, $60,000, $100,000? Let me give you my honest opinion. I think, if you want my honest opinion, I think that in 344 days from today, I think Bitcoin's price will be probably less than $20,000. Let me explain that. If you look back at the past halvings, you can see that at each halving, and this is the halving was marked out right here in the different colors. You can see the price at each halving, although it was way up from the bottom, it had yet to break all time highs yet. Right here at the halving, Bitcoin's price was about $14, $12. Right here at the halving, Bitcoin's price was about $600, uh, $660, $680 off from its, at that time, all time highs. Here's the thing, guys. Bitcoin's halving will get us very close to $20,000 and that's the key because what here's the thing once Bitcoin surpasses its previous all-time high once Bitcoin surpasses $20,000 that's when the FOMO starts that's when everybody's in profit that's when everybody is realizing that Bitcoin is still here and asking why is that everybody is taking a look at what happened in the past and really, it's a mad dash to get some. And historically speaking, after Bitcoin surpasses the previous cycle's all-time highs, that's when things really start cooking. Let me show you. Let's start from going into the first halving. Bitcoin was below all-time highs. Eventually, it got up there. Once it did, Bitcoin's price increased, after it surpassed all-time highs, over 4,000%. 
in the first case. How about here? Once Bitcoin surpassed or reached its previous all-time highs, we got to tension is killing me. 15,000% approximately. Here's my point, guys. Don't follow the sheep, lead the pack. I think what we are seeing right now with Litecoin will happen with Bitcoin times 100. I'm taking the risk. Let's see if I get the reward. But yes, I could buy into Litecoin right now at about $130 and really get those gains as we go up to $150 or $200 going into the halving in the next 53 days. Or we are less than a year away from Bitcoin's having. It's on nobody's radar, yet everybody has heard of it. I'm going to hedge my bet with Bitcoin. By the way, guys, welcome back, everybody, to Altcoin Daily, where you subscribe for our daily videos, keeping you informed on everything going on with Bitcoin, cryptocurrency, this whole market. If you found value in today's video, do me a favor, hit the like button liking our videos. It's a small thing you can do. It truly does help us grow as a channel. If you're if you're new here, you want to be a part of a team that updates you exactly what's going on every single day of the week. Hit subscribe, join our team, and be a part of a growing channel. 101,000 people can't be wrong, I don't think. <clears throat> then to finish up with just two final pieces of news. Number one, a bank in Liechtenstein grew its traffic by 900% after it started selling cryptocurrencies. Let's click this, find out the details. We're not gonna read the whole article, but just so you know, one bank in Liechtenstein truly made a masterful move by venturing into the cryptocurrency market, offering to supply cryptocurrencies directly to their customers, and despite the risk of hackers compromising customers, this bank is also promising protections against this eventuality. In this article, we'll be exploring this bank and their decision. To provide their customers and their trading desk platform with more protection, Bank Frick stores their cryptocurrency reserves in cold storage cryptocurrency wallets. That's smart. Due to the fact that these wallets are not openly exposed to an internet connection, it eliminates the potential threat for losses from hacking. Furthermore, customers will be required to have their own cryptocurrency wallet and will regularly receive reports on their cryptocurrency holdings from the bank. The overall aim of Bank Frick's new trading desk is to attempt to make crypto banking as effective and easy as current traditional bankings, regardless about how you how regardless about how you and me both feel about this situation. The point is this, insane. The first companies that open their gates for crypto are the ones that will benefit the most from the market growth. That's the kind of news that can attract more companies into crypto. Yes, I agree with this. And of course, full disclosure, this 900% increase was traffic to their website. Still a good sign. It is a net positive for the space. And then final piece of news, Bitcoin has dwarfed Warren Buffett's Berkshire Hathaway return on investment. So the rundown, Berkshire Hathaway is up a lot, but not as much as Bitcoin is up in the last 10 years. So obviously Warren Buffett, one of the smartest traders, if you would have put your money with him, you would have made a lot, but not as much as if you would have put your money on Bitcoin. Facts speak for themselves. Also, make sure you follow us on our Twitter, altcoindaily.io. I'm going to leave a link in the description. We tweet everything from our latest video to interesting points of view. Can you still afford to own one Bitcoin? Can you afford not to? Art, the lot, the usual stuff. Go to, feel free to follow some of the people we follow as well. You know, For instance, if we're just checking the latest tweets, Jimmy Song, every Bitcoiner at some point gets tempted to do some altcoins. Uh, only those that, are, that really understand Bitcoin's value will be able to resist, learn before you're tempted. He is a, a Bitcoin maximalist. Got jo John McAfee tweeting about some stuff. Anything else? Hmm. Really interesting read on the relationship between venture capital, defense technologies, and war. All right, I'm going to check that out in a second. You know what? I'm going to retweet any interesting articles I find, and then if you're following us on our Twitter, then you'll just, you'll just get the most interesting pieces of news and information. 
All right, guys. See you tomorrow.